Thanks, guys. So first off, Lewis, you were all over the court tonight, had 14 points, also made some plays defensively. Um, what was clicking for you tonight? This, uh, my teammates gave me energy. Coach had trust in me, and we really wanted to get the win because we're two games away from Stacey, and this is the last game to make cities. We really wanted them more. And, you know, it's obviously a dramatic ending tonight. I mean, Brighton got on a little bit of a, a run there, but you're able to uh, finish things off. You know, how are you guys able to just maintain your composure in that situation? They played hard, fought back. It was a great run by them, but it was just confidence enough and kept our composure to seal the game. And um, also, you know, Brighton's a physical team, um, you know, and they were throwing their bodies around, especially on the boards in the first half. Um, you know, how were you able to just match their intensity? Just boxed out, grab rebounds and pass the ball. Extra passes, layups, jump shots, and that's pretty much it. All right, well, Lewis, great job tonight. I just have a couple questions for Coach. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, so Coach, first off, can you just talk about Lewis's performance? Uh, you know, we just asked these guys to step up and play a role and do their job. Um, before I even get started, I just want to say thanks again. Uh, BNN, we love when you guys show up and, and support the city and the team. Uh, we want to give a great shout out to our fans, our alumni, um, uh, our high school. But yeah, again, we just asked these guys to do their part. And Louis stepped up big today as a senior. We needed that leadership. And um, also, you know, like, kind of like I asked Lewis, um, Brenton got on a run, but you guys were able to just hang in there and, and close out the win. Um, you know, how is your team able to just stay cool and, and keep moving forward? Well, um, you know, again, we just try to do our best as a coaching staff. Mm -hmm. um, Coach Curtis, come over here. This guy <laughs> from Brighton High School, uh, he does a, come in, in here. He does a hell of a job. Um, I know he's a great coach, so in terms of trying to figure out how can we stop these guys, I already knew that we're going to come back, that we're going to play hard, mm -hmm. and to his leadership, it was awesome. Mm -hmm. And Coach, can you just build off that, um, you know, obviously the team's composure at the end there? Well, the, the main thing we always say is stay focused until the end of the game. Like, they're going to play hard until the end of the game. So basically, we kept our focus, nobody broke down, and that's what enabled us to win the game. Great, great. And I know you obviously coached at Brighton yourself. You actually coached along with um, Coach Martin at, at Brighton. I mean, you know, how emotional was it going up against your former team? Like I said before, in terms of emotion, it was more um, I'm proud that our brotherhood and our reach for the young folks of our community, young men, is growing. Mm -hmm. Where, you know, Coach Curtis has, has always been a head coach in his own right. Um, and it was great for him to be able to go on and take over at Brighton. For me to come back to my alma mater, to connect with the alumni and what we've done before. But just continue to do what we've done for the past 10 years. And that's just grow our reach to help the youth of our community. And, um, you know, building off that, Coach Brighton, what was this matchup like for you? Obviously, I mentioned that you, know, you guys have your history coaching together. Uh, it was tough. It was tough. Um, it was a battle game. Um, we just knew we wanted both teams to play hard, play fun, be on, um, play together, and um, play smart and play the right way, which is what we're always preaching to the kids anyway. Mm -hmm. And also building off kind of what you talked about, um, you know, obviously it was a great game tonight, but you talk about how basketball can have an impact on young men's lives, um, you know, and, and teach them important life lessons. Um, how, how important is that for all three of you? Um, well, tonight with a lot of the Seatown alum coming back, it was the definition of like how basketball impacted my life as a youth. Um, this gentleman, um, you know, just what he's done for raising not only his family, unbelievable family, using the game of basketball and life lessons, he still uses that to this day with me and a lot of my fellow uh, teammates as men. And it also impacted his life so much. And so we just know that with great mentorship and leadership, and the game of basketball, which these young guys love, we can do some great things for them. All right. All right. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Great stuff tonight. Thank you for everything you guys do, you know, obviously with basketball and the community. Uh, we really appreciate it. All right. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, guys. We appreciate you all. All right. Back to you guys.